child of God, are you tired to pursue and seek things in life, certain things in life, but the more you seek them, the more they run away from you. Some of them, they are prophecies. Some of them, they are prof- promises of God. Some of them, you have encountered them in the written word of God. But the more you seek, you go for them, the more they run away from you. You have sought a wife to marry. You have sought a, a, a husband. You have been seeking that promotion. You've been seeking for that healing. You've been seeking for that riches. You have been seeking that wealth. But the more you go for them, the more they keep running away, repelling from your life. And now you are in depression. But God has given me a message that you are about to hear right here and shall bless your life so far. All the prophecies, the promises, all the things you've been seeking, they will be invoked in there in the manifestation of thereof. And God shall bless your life so mightily. See you after this message. I'll be right back. You're most welcome. You're most welcome. And my name is Brian Cheyune. I'm from Revival International, straight here from Uganda. So thank you so much for subscribing to our YouTube channel. Yeah, to keep uh, receiving these messages because they are life changing. So you can keep on sharing, you comment, you like, and then you click on that bell. Yeah, for more notifications in the name of Jesus. Our Facebook is the same, Revival International. Instagram, the same. TikTok, the same. And YouTube channel. So keep sharing. Yeah, to bless the world, to bless your friends, to bless their families and their finances to the glory of God in the name of Jesus. And God has something powerful today, powerful today. As uh, we're in this year, God has a timely message for our lives. This is going to solve your life so far. It's going to solve all oh, that depression that you've been having, you know, that the frustration because of the the, the, the visions which have not, uh, you know, uh, and the prophecies which have not uh, uh, been fulfilled in your life. In the name of Jesus, this is the right message for you. In the name of Jesus, the Christ Jesus, our Savior. In his conversation, he tells us something. He reveals a mystery, a mystery to save our lives. That we keep on seeking certain things in life. We keep seeking, seeking, you know, money. We keep seeking what we shall put in our berry, in our stomach, what we shall put on the clothes. We keep seeking the glory. We keep seeking certain things, seeking uh, for women. We seek... For, 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 for men to marry us, we ladies, we seek, you know, we seek different kind of things. And since we, we, the more we seek them, we don't get them. Even some prophecies, we don't get them. And because of that, our lives are being ruined. Our lives are being frustrated. But Jesus reveals this message so mightily to bless our lives. Because in all the life of Jesus, he has never, the only thing he commanded us, he instructed us to seek is only one thing, all known to. And it's going to bless you. It's going to blow your mind so far. Come with me in Matthew chapter 6 um, from verse 25. And your life shall be blessed so mighty. He said that therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life. What you shall eat or what you shall drink. Nor yet for your body. What you shall put on is not the life more than meat. It's more important than meat. He's asking, and the body more important than the clothes. Praise the Lord. For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. But, but, look at this. He says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Oh, hallelujah. Man, Taraba. He says that our heavenly Father, your heavenly Father, whom you believe through Christ Jesus, our Savior and Lord, Hallelujah. He said He knows that you are in need of all these things, the things that Gentiles seek. Praise the Lord. The riches the Gentiles seek. He knows that you need them. The blessings, the 
opportunities, the promotion, the wives to marry, the marriages, the partners, the children, you've been barren. He knows that you need them for the Gentiles, the nations of the world seek them. He knows that you need them also as his children. He loves you so much. But Jesus is revealing a mystery. He's revealing a mystery here. The way of seeking, the best way, the more excellent way. He says, seek, but seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all the things the nations of the world seek, and all the things that you've been seeking for many years, which have caused a devastation, a frustration in your life, all those things, the children, the, 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 uh, you know, the wealth, the riches, the, 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 even the marriage, the Bible says, it shall be added unto you. Because the kingdom of God, once you get to that place, when you seek, when you seek, you go for the kingdom of God. Once the time you have an encounter with the kingdom of God, it is a certain realm. It's a realm where goodness and masses follow you. <laughs> it is a realm where it's a realm where miracles, signs, and wonders follows you. That's what the Bible says. It does not say that you shall follow them. Uh -uh. Miracles are supposed to follow you. Nations are supposed to follow you. Even the riches must follow you. The testimony, the wonders, the testimonies must follow you. That is the way of life ordained for a Christian. The Bible says in Romans 14 verse 17, it says that the kingdom of God is not in in, in food, it's not in drink, it's not just eats, it's not feasting. But the kingdom of God is righteousness. Listen, it is righteousness, joy, peace in the Holy Ghost. The joy in the Holy Ghost, righteousness in the Holy Ghost. This is the kingdom of God. It's not just feasting, it's not party, party after party. Like the way that the, the, the children of Israel, the Pharisees and the Sadducees and all those people, they waited upon the kingdom of God. They thought that the kingdom of God is coming with feasting, eating and drinking. Hallelujah. Throwing a party, party. But God told them, Jesus told them, that it's not that. Look at this. Jesus told them, the kingdom of God does not come with observation. You don't need your naked eyes to see the kingdom of God. But I'm here to tell you, that the kingdom of God is not by physical appearance. Because many people will say, many they will come, that the kingdom of God is this side, the kingdom of God the other side. So the Bible says that, Jesus says that, don't, don't, don't give them attention. Uh -uh, because the kingdom of God is within you. Praise the Lord. The word there is called eto, etos. It is called ethos. The word ethos, it means uh, two things. Within you, which is in your heart. And another, it, it means, another meaning, it means it is among you. So, to, according to the Pharisees, Jesus was telling them, since you have not received Jesus Christ, you, after the regener regeneration, you, 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 you've been not born again. You, 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 you have not received salvation. So the kingdom of God is right among you here. Whilst I'm talking, speaking to you, the kingdom of God is right here. In other words, he was telling them, I'm the one. I'm the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. The kingdom of God is right among you, but you have not seen it. You have not recognized it. You, you have not sense, you, you have not gotten that sensitivity to know that the kingdom of God is among you. But it is right here before you. Praise the Lord. And let me tell you something. In Colossians chapter 1, 26, he says something very powerful. For us who are already born again, the kingdom of God, it, it is right inside of you. The Bible says that even the mystery, mantra, which is being hid from ages, from generation, but now is being made manifest to the saints. You are a saint of God. It's being made manifest to whom God to whom God has made it known the riches of this mystery, the riches of this mystery, and which is Christ in you. 
Hey, the hope of glory. So, the kingdom of God is Christ Jesus inside of you. The kingdom of God is right inside of you. But why Jesus is asking us, is telling us to seek the kingdom of God, yet the kingdom is right inside of you? Have you asked that question? Why is asking you to seek the kingdom of God, which is right inside you? Hallelujah. Why? Praise the Lord. It's right inside of you. The hope of glory is right inside of you. And, and the righteousness. What is the righteousness of God? What is the righteousness of God? Jesus says, uh, Paul says something very powerful in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, uh, chapter 5, verse uh, 21. He says that for he who did not know sin, he became sin for us. Did you hear that? He became sin for us. So that we made you, you made be made, 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 made the righteousness of God in him, in Christ Jesus. So once you get born again, you already made, being made the righteousness of God. So you are the righteousness of God. You are the righteousness of God. Why? The spirit of the Lord has made me. So the what does God mean? Jesus is meaning here that you supposed to seek what you already received inside of you in your spirit man and what you have been made in Christ Jesus, who you are in Christ. You ought to understand what you received Christ in you, the hope of glory, and to understand who you are in Christ Jesus. This is the total deliverance you will ever have in life. And once you get in there, life will be totally turned around. That's why Paul says something very powerful that I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ Jesus because it's a power of God and salvation for those who believe to the Greeks, to, to the Jews and the Greeks. Uh, and he said that they're in there, in there, in the gospel of Christ. The righteousness of God is being revealed from faith to faith. As it's written, the righteous shall live by faith. So as you go deeper in the word of God, to dig, to get the mysteries of who you are, the righteousness of you being revealed who you are in Christ Jesus. And this is the total blessing that will cause us supernatural trouble. So we're going to get to the next episode. This shall bless your life. So thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you abundantly. So don't forget to share this message to your friends and to tell them to subscribe in Jesus' name. God bless you. I love you.